Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I also have a Leo and Virgo only channel. Um, those are also in the description box below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when I go live. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, um, and I go live to choose the winner. So make sure that notification bell is on and popping so you don't miss the live, okay? Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. I do not take personal readings, my loves. So any phone numbers that you you see it's not me if anyone reaches out to you it is also not me okay why is this thing doing this um, I can recommend two uh, two options for you if you need a personal reading okay um, you could visit Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot um, or there's an app listed below for iPhone users only okay iPhone users only um, and they do like by the minute and stuff like that okay so let's go ahead and get popping, my loves. Let's see what we have here today for my beautiful Cancer babies. And guys, there's also other recommended readers in the description box below also. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Oh, guys, I totally gave in with the vape. I don't know what I was thinking yesterday morning. <laughs> I woke up like, I'm going to stop vaping today. And then I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I, you know, the thought was there. The will was there. I made it half the day, but then I was like, oh, I can't do this. But I also went from smoking three packs of cigarettes a day to vaping. So, I mean, it's like, uh, I'm trying, spirit. I'm trying. I have cleaned up my diet a lot, though. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please, in love. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, in love. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, in love. Okay, so we've got trapped and we have toxic. Tell me about cancer in love. We've got heartstrings. We've got heartstrings. And we've got triggers that came out in the reverse. We've got risky in the reverse. And we've got signs. Okay. Cancer, this could be your person's side because don't forget your your person can view you in a bad light too, okay? You may think you're doing nothing wrong, but sometimes, you know, your person can view you, you know, in a, in a bad light or this could be your person. What we have here is somebody, okay, that is feeling really stuck in a situation. They're feeling like, and when I mean stuck, I'm talking like picture a spider web that somebody is struggling to get out of. So this could be a relationship cancer that you have been wanting to remove yourself from for quite some time. It's unhealthy. It's poisonous. This person has, it's just, this, you're dealing with someone here that's ugly on the inside. And this could be a boss. It could be a family member. It could be a child. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it could be a love interest you take it as it resonates cancer okay um but i mean this is someone that is toxic they are ugly on the inside okay this person plays with your feelings they play with your heart and you know what cancer there may have been a, a point in this relationship where you were trauma bonded to this person or they did trigger you they did trigger you know your inner wounds they did uh, trigger those inner childhood wounds that you hadn't taken care of yet but guess what it's over now it's over now because you've done the healing and you've put in the work Okay, and I feel like you're not interested in, um, okay, you're not interested, for those of you where this is a romantic thing, you could be dealing with someone that sleeps around a lot and you're starting to get the ick. Like this person is disgusting you a little bit. Like you may not want to sleep with your person because you're afraid to catch an STD or like, I don't even know where your mouth has been. Don't touch me. You know, if you want to go take a Lysol bath, 
with pneumonia and Clorox or something, maybe I'll think about rubbing your back. You know, like it's just, you know, you're starting to get the ick a little bit with this person, right? Um, now, if it is, you know, just a, if it's a friend or a family member, it's just an energy of I'm, I just don't want to take the risk anymore. I don't want to take the risk anymore. Now, you're going to start to see some type of uh, signs and synchronicities here, Cancer. 4141-2929-4444-1010-88888, okay? It, it could be any 1111, it could be any sign, okay? But you're going to start to see some type of repeating numbers or maybe hear songs that have meaning to you. Um, there's something here that's going to be... Um, popping off. I don't know if this person's coming back or I don't know if you're going to start to see these signs and this is going to be the beginning of the end of you being able to release something that has been difficult for you to release. Okay. So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about trapped for cancer. Tell me about trapped for cancer. We've got the four of swords. So cancer, you see this person this person was hurting you and when they were hurting you they were under the impression that because they were keeping you on your knees in pain and suffering that they had you stuck right but that's not the case because you were healing yourself you were healing yourself tell me about toxic and the Hierophant. This person thought that their toxic behaviors would keep you in place. Like the, you know, you being mad and jealous, the, them ripping at your self-esteem and, and driving you crazy, the mental, sometimes mental, physical, spiritual abuse, you know what I'm saying? Verbal abuse that it would keep you in place. But I don't think that's the case here. Tell me about heartstrings. And the King of Pentacles, they knew that you would be loyal to them, Cancer. They, they were stringing you along and playing with your heart because they knew that you would be loyal to them. All they had to do was say a few choice words or whatever the case may be, and you would be loyal to this person. Okay, with the sun card here and triggers in the reverse cancer, you healed. The four of swords talks about healing. The sun card talks about healing, growth, recovery. You know, the sun coming out after a very difficult time. This person can't trigger you anymore. They can't trigger you anymore. Okay, we've got the Knights of Wands and the Five of Wands. So Cancer, I feel like we're dealing with somebody here that liked to see you get mad. They liked to see you get angry, get jealous. They they tormented you with third party energies. And with the Knight of Wands and the Five of Wands and Risky in the reverse, this is someone that you, you're disgusted by. You're disgusted by this person because you know that they maybe cheat a lot or uh, you know what's crazy cancer It's very possible that we're dealing with someone here that torments you in that way with other people But then they don't even actually go have sex because the plan here is set in place for you to be tormented They may not even really be Associating with these people in that way They may not really because i'm seeing the knight of wands and the five of wands They act that way specifically to gaslight you into the jealousy and the frenzy and everything else. Do you understand what I'm saying? And Risky's in the reverse. They may not even really be having sex with these people. They may not really even, but you're disgusted by it at this point. Nobody wants somebody that everyone, you know, it's, it's like, uh, how can I put it? If anyone can have you, I don't want it type of vibe. That's where you're at with this person. But I mean, we've got risky in the reverse and risky is unprotected sex, sexual disease, partner to partner, unsafe decisions. I got to be honest with you, Cancer, for the majority of you, this person doesn't even associate with these people in this way. They just do it to get to you. They just do it to get to you, okay? We've got signs here and the Ace of Cups. So Cancer, you may be releasing this and moving towards something new. And you're going to start to see signs and synchronicities to confirm that. Or Cancer, it could be that this person wants to come back around to tell you that. To tell you, listen, I never really slept with these people. I was just trying to mess with your head. You know, not that that makes it okay in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what this person's got going on. 
All right, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about cancer. Tell me about cancer. Okay, so we've got getting played that came out in the reverse. Manipulation, lies, controlling, pulling the strings in the reverse, Cancer. You're not going to be easily manipulated this time. Knowing they effed up. Knowing they effed up. You know, Cancer, it's like this person, you know, knows that they messed up really bad. They're trying to come back around, but you are just not going to be easily manipulated this time. It's just because you're healed now. See arguments, putting them in their place. You're going to tell this person, you're going to tell this person off. You are going to get this person in their feelings, Cancer. You know, people underestimate Cancers. I, let me tell you something about me. Let's talk about it because I'm going to throw myself under the bus. I will make a whole man cry. A grown man, I will make you cry with just my words. Like that's, I can be vicious with my mouth. Vicious, like vicious. You know what I'm saying? And Cancer, I, I feel like you've had, just, you, you have healed to the point where you are able to defend yourself and you're going to. And, they're, and you're going to. You're going to get this person in their feelings. Um, we've got fake apology and running away. You want nothing to do with this fake apology. You want nothing to do with this, uh, you know, fake apology. But with keeping a promise, this person is, is begging you, telling you, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to keep my promise to you, uh, expecting a new beginning. You know, this person is really hoping to make this work with you, Cancer. Um, but we've got, you know, you're just like, you know, this person... This person is poison. Some of you may even have this person's name on your phone as like poison with the little skulls, with the crosses, you know what I'm saying? You know, the demon, you know, spawn of Satan, you know, literally in your phone when they call spawn of Satan calling, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're just, you know, they're really expecting to make this right. Um, for some of you, you could be pregnant with this person's uh, child and now they want to come in and make it right. For others of you, you could have children with this person um for some of you this person is saying let's get married and have kids um i don't know this person was playing games because you know ultimately i feel like the end game for them here cancer was if they kept you like you know in on your knees in pain if you were yelling and screaming and whatever that meant that you loved them i don't know you know i don't know why this person is that way but that's the way they are Tell me about getting played in the reverse. The chariot, Cancerian energy. And the Ten of Pentacles. Cancer, you are no interest, you are not interested anymore in being manipulated, lied to. I feel like I don't know if you're focusing on your money right now with this Ten of Pentacles. Um, or with the chariot, you're only moving towards people, places, and things that are gonna bring you long-term stability. Okay. Tell me about knowing they effed up. We've got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Swords. This person's going to come in, Cancer, with a very honest uh, conversation or communication here that with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, they know they breadcrumbed you. They know they didn't do the right thing in the connection. They know that there was no equal give and take in the connection. They know that you gave a lot and they gave nothing. They know. Like, <clears throat> do you understand what I'm saying? And they, they want to come in and tell you, like, listen, I know I didn't do right by you. Tell me about arguments and the two of swords. You are really going to put this person in, in their place, Cancer. <clears throat> and with that two of swords energy, you might block them afterwards. Tell me about in their feels and the four of pentacles. This person may show it. They may not show it. But Cancer, you're going to make this person cry. I'm sorry, they may not show it with that four of pentacles, but you're going to have this person, you know, they're going to go to the bathroom for a minute and you're going to have them sobbing in that bathroom stall. Okay, like you're going to make this person cry. <sighs> Tell me about running away. The moon card in the reverse. You are no longer, there's no more benefit of the doubt with this person. This person used to be able to come in, Cancer, pull the wool over your eyes, get you to believe them again. There's no more mystery here. I know exactly who you are and you are a massive butthole. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're toxic, you're poison. Like, there's no more benefit of the doubt. Maybe this time, you know, he or she will do the right. No, there's no more of that. 
There's no more of that. You know, you know now that, you know, with the seven of cups and the moon card in the reverse, that this person is full of it, that they are full of it. Tell me about fake apology and the queen of cups. You know, you know, you're sitting right there side eyeing this person. Look at how you're smiling there. You know that everything this person says is fake. Tell me more about fake apology and the three of cups that, you know, nine of swords and the three of cups cancer. They're going to come back crying and sniveling with snots everywhere. You know, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But with this world card, you've learned your lessons. Okay, three of wands and the six of swords, some of you may even, and the ace of pentacles, some of you may be looking uh, to move long distance or to move somewhere new to purchase a house, maybe others of you are starting your own business, you, you're focusing on something totally different than love or this person at this point in time. Tell me about keeping a promise. And the three of swords, I promise I won't hurt you anymore. I promise I won't hurt you anymore. The nine of cups and the ten of cups on top of this new beginning. They're literally cancer telling you that they will do everything and anything to make you happy. But with the magician here and caution, you know that you know what this person is capable of, cancer. You know what this person is capable of. And you are just not, you know, you're trying to run from this apology. You are trying to run from this. Cancer, this person is going to really beg. I'm telling you right now, they're going to really, really beg. This person's going to promise you the sun, the moon, the stars, and everything. They're going to. They are going to. All right, well, let's take it into the extended. Um, you know, let's see if this person is honest. Have they changed? What would it be like if you reconciled with them? And for those of you who have no interest in reconciling with this person, what is coming towards you? Okay. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I will see you in the extended. Take care, my darlings.